bar grounding. So this is what a bar grounder looks like. It's just a little line of seeds and they come in different size holes and different arrays of number of holes. So this is a 35 five seed and they come in, you could get an array that's like a five by four or a three with a two on top or just three seeds in a row, five seeds in a row, seven seeds in a row, nine seeds in a row. There's lots of, lots of options. Like with a lot of tools, you know, you tool makers make more money that way. And you can see some of this I already have done. It just kind of makes seeds or little circles all over the place. So you don't want to overlap them too much or you end up with kind of mushy, goopy looking stuff. I'm just trying to figure out how to arrange this where I can see and you can see. But you just want to get in close to the edge. Whoops, but not go over the edge. And then when you do your next one, you don't want to leave a little gap. You want to overlap. So I try to overlap one seed. I really ooh, can't see very good. Hopefully you could see pretty good. So overlap. Don't go over your edge. And I kind of like to go down the border edge like this just to establish a good line. You want your leather fairly dry. I kind of like it really dry when I do it. And then you just try to fit this in where it will fit. So I have, I have three different sizes of these, but they're all five seed configurations. Here's my bigger one. So you kind of get, I think you kind of get good at one size and knowing how big it is. Like this little guy is just like one whole seed smaller. And then compared to my bigger one, right? One whole seed smaller. And I don't know, I think you kind of get used to the one you use the most and you can kind of anticipate the size that it is. Like it's too big to fit right there, but I need it to fit. So I'm going to have to kind of angle it. But then you're left with that little gap there. So you tip it and try to just get one seed where you need it. And then try not to overlap the ones you just did move a little bit further and when you know how wide your tool is because you've used it all the time you kind of get used to how far you need to go and then you just keep going And then once this space gets wider, you could try to even it out. But I think this angle will work for the rest of the way. And having some good visu visualization skills helps to know how far you're going to need it and how you're going to need to move it to make it fit in the space that's left. And that's about it. So that's kind of a fairly straightforward deal, but this shape, it's got all sorts of, all sorts of great things to try. So I'm going to put it up in, up in that gap and then connect it to this side. And I think I will just fan this way. Till I'm matching this angle, it's where my mind is going, so that when I get to right there, I'm sort of right next to the pedal. I'm really close. 
And then come check out that little gap. Get it filled in. And I'm close, but not quite. So I'm going to go just a little bit further and get right next to the petal. So that petal definitely stands up. And then I'm going to come do the same thing in this petal gap. But I'm going to bring this line all the way around the petal, kind of like I did around the border previously, just so I can demarcate that whole petal away from the background. And if I were being really fancy, I would keep this angle all the way across. So keep that angle, keep that angle. I'm telling you, those people are professionals that can do that. Because that is hard. When you got these funny shapes. But when I can, I try to make parallel lines. Remember to overlap a seat or two. Got just this little bit, so I'll tip it. Just get one. And then that gap is too small. And so some people will have like a three seed and probably a three seed would fit in there just perfect. Well, I don't own one of those. So we'll, we'll come back to it. So I'm gonna get next to that pedal, go that pedal in that direction. I kind of have a gap there. We'll see what, we'll see what happens. So I'm going to go right next to this flower stem, trying to overlap just one seed, and then see how I can do it. So I could probably start here and just follow that and then come fill in the gap there. That probably would look pretty good. Just a little bit. And I'll try to connect a seed. Got a little space, a little space, one little space right there. That looks pretty good from a distance. Probably looks a little better where most people would see it. I don't think people will have their faces right next to it. But that's, that's how I bar ground. <laughs> 